practice exercise for fundamentals of numbers and set theory question comes from base of 10 to base of 16 now we'll do this question in two different ways both of them have the same basis but in one method which is the conventional method you tend to divide or write down and divide in my method you actually don't need to write down it can be done only assuming you are reasonably comfortable with calculation so conventionally you will do it this way 1556 and you will divide it by 16 so 16 into 9 is 144 remainder of 11 116 16 into 7 is 112 remainder 4 next 16 into 6 96 1 so your answer will be 614 which is choice D okay simple process not an issue at all and for this question probably this is the best way of doing the question also but let me just introduce you to an alternate way which may not be very useful for this question but will be useful in general now we have 1556 on a base of 10 and you need to convert it to something base of 16. Now I also know that 16 on a base of 10 will be 1 0 on a base of 16. 16 square which is 256 on base of 10. 16 square base 10 will be nothing but 16 square so 1 0 0 on base of 16. Now this number is 1556 this is about 6 times also if you look at the choices all choices are 6 times so what will be 256 into 6 base 10 should be nothing but 6 into 1 0 0 base 16 okay. or in other words 256 into 6 250 into 6 is 1500 6 into 6 is 36 so 1536 base 10 is equal to 6 0 0 base 16 the number is 1556 we have already accounted for 1536 so what you have left with is 20. Out of this 20, 16 base 10 will be nothing but 1 0 base 16 and then you are left with 4. 4 will come as it is because it is a unit digit only. So the answer has to be 614 and this number effectively is your 1556. Correct answer choice D. Now this might look difficult. All complicated initially but if you get used to it you will find that such simple question you will still do it by division only and that's the right method but the moment the question becomes a little difficult this method becomes easier and faster because you can do it without writing down while I've written it for you in general I would do this question without writing down anything on the paper